I know sometimes it's hard in our life living in today's world while COVID restriction is everywhere in the world, including in Cambodia as well. Sometimes we can meet and sometimes we cannot meet according to the affection of COVID. I know that right now we have COVID affections locally in Phnom Penh and in Cambodia, the rest of the provinces. But it's not just COVID that's affecting our life in our everyday life. And those affections affect our well-being, affect the way we think, the affect the way we act, affect businesses, affects everything. Today, rather than just teaching you or preaching to you, I want to pray with you. But before I do so, I have a couple of verses I want to share with you. In 2 Kings chapter 6, verse 15 to 17, when the servant of the man of God got up and went out early the next morning, an army with horses and chariots had surrounded the city. Oh no, my Lord, what shall we do? The man went out and just like, OML, what shall we do? Oh my Lord. The servant asked, don't be afraid, the prophet answered. Those who were with us are more than those who are with them. And Elisha prayed. I want you to listen to this. Open his eyes, Lord, so that he may see. Then the Lord opened the servant's eye. And he looked and he saw the hills full of horses and chariots of fire all around Elisha. The servant saw the angelical armies. They were with Elisha. They were with them. And Elisha said, don't be afraid. Do you know why you said don't be afraid to someone? That because of that person is being afraid right now. Today, I'm not sure what circumstances that causes fear in you. What sort of problem, what sort of obstacles you are facing right now? I'm not sure what circumstances, I'm not sure what problems causes fear in you right now. But my prayer, let God open our eyes. Let God open your eyes. Let God open our hearts. Psalms 46 was one. God is our refuge and strength an ever-present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear. Listen to the songs of these ladies. They sang, God is my refuge and God is my strength and His ever-presence. Help in troubles. When the servant of the man of God saw that they have help from heaven, his fears gone. He has no more fear. I want you to know that God is with you. His ever-presence changes your circumstances. His ever-presence helps you to overcome your circumstances because He has help stored for you. I want you to see in 1 Peter 1, verse 8. It, was the, it is the first letter that... that that Peter wrote to a Christian that were persecuted and lived in five different places in Asia Minor. These people probably have heard the gospel through Paul and they were persecuted. The persecution affected their well-being, their businesses, their family. And this is what Paul wrote to them. Though you have not seen him, you love him. And even though you do not see him now, you believe in him and are filled with an inexpressible and glorious joy. For you are receiving the end result of your faith, the salvation of your souls. 
the peace that passed our understanding. Peter acknowledged the inexpressible, glorious joy among people that were persecuted, among people that, that were being affected by someone's decisions. I'm not sure what you are being affected by right now, but God wants to give you joy. He wants to give you peace in your circumstances. There are waves, there are winds blowing be, be, beside you, but God wants you to know He got you. And he got this, so that you can live with joy and peace. In the book of Philippians, chapter 1, verse 6. And I hope that this verse speaks to those that you may have fallen into different areas, or you have been stuck, or you have been buried by these situations. Being confident of this, I want you to touch your heart right now and say to yourself, being confident of this, if God is for you, so you can be for yourself too. Amen? So be confident of this, that he who began a good work in you will carry it on. He who began a good work in you will carry on to completion until the day of Jesus Christ. So, if God has a plan for you, if God started the work in you, if God started to use you, if the ministry you started to glorify Him, and now it's stuck, if the businesses that you wish to start so that you can help the kingdom, and now because of these infections, of COVID, the affection caused problems or cash flow to the business. I want you to know that God, who has begun good work in you, He will carry it on. He got this. His ever present is with you. I'm not sure who I'm ministering to right now, but God wants you to know for sure and have the confidence in His truth, in His word. And He will carry it on until the day of Jesus Christ, until the day we finish on earth. God is with you and He's never forsake you or leave you. I want you to hear it clearly that God is for you. Amen? During this situation of tough time, I also wanted to pray for you this point as well, that you can be an answer to those around you that are in need. Maybe you feel like you don't have much to give, you don't have much to share, you don't have much to help, but you never knew that little things that you have done to your neighbors, to your families, to your friends, to even to those that never knew you. You never know how much that help can be a help to those that are in that need for that moment. You never knew that prayer or that call has helped, has blessed their soul. Let me read you a verse in Acts chapter 10, verse 38. Now God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and power. And how he went around doing good and healing all those who were under the power of the devil because God was with him. You know, his ever present changes every circumstances, changing your perspective, changes your situations, and changes those around you. When you try to live by allowing God to create something in your life to bless other people, and that is the picture of the beauty of how God wants to show to you how much He loves you, how much He can use you. Amen? 
in Romans chapter 12, verse 21. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. We cannot outgive God. Everybody can give something. Everybody can do something. I want to pray for you right now that God will open your eyes, that God will open your hearts so that your perspective change. I want to pray for those that are stuck in a situation or in a problem. Either it's caused by you, yourself did it, or by other people did it to you. I strongly believe that God will help you. God will carry on the ministry you have started. God will carry the vision that He has for you. And you're probably in the middle of your journey doing that vision. And I strongly believe that God will carry it on. Remember this, God who began the good work in you, He will carry it on. He, He will carry it on, not us. Amen? But for us, we have to allow God to change our mind, change our perspective. Let the truth of God speak to our hearts rather than the circumstances around us and threat us, cause us fear and let us act a certain way. But let the truth of God cause our heart to act according to His Word. Amen? And those that God wants to work in you to create something new in your life for the sake of others, allow Him to do that so that you will know and you will know His will, His goodness, His perfect will for you and for others through you. Some of you may want to place your hands on your heart and some of you may want to place your hand on your eyes. I want to pray for you that your spiritual eyes will be open. Father God, I pray for my brothers and sisters right now. Father God, I want to take this opportunity to proclaim the truth over their life that you are with them. You are always with us, Father God. I'm not sure where they are right now, but you are everywhere with us. Your ever presence help us in trouble, Father God. I pray for those that have been stuck, for those that have fallen to get back up because you got them. You have not yet done the work that you have begun in them, Father God. And you will carry it on. Father God, I pray right now that let those that are in need, let those, Father God, that need our help open our eyes to see them. Let those that you want to touch, Father God, let us see them, Father God. Let us see the people you want to use us to touch. Father God, create something in our heart. Create the heart, the love that you want in us so that we can place, so that we can give your love, your care, and the miracle you want to do in their life through us, Father God. Father God, we let you to open our eyes. We let you to open our hearts. We let you to work in our lives so that we know your will, so that we can stand strong, so that your kingdom will move forward, Father God. Let us live during the situations of pandemic with inexpressible Joy, Father God. Let us have the peace that pass beyond our understanding because we know that you are with us. And I proclaim this word over my brothers and sisters right now who are listening in the name of Jesus. Let those that believe say, Amen.
แมน